Well, the breaking news today, the 31st of December 2021, is that yet another Kotao businessman has died. Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. I've just had word, apparently reliable, that Michael Sputh, who was the Swedish man who owned Big Blue Diving on Kotao, uh, passed away following the injuries he received reportedly uh, through a motorcycle accident. He was on Koh Tao just four days ago, so I don't know whether the accident actually occurred on Koh Tao or occurred elsewhere because he sometimes lived in Bangkok. Now, for those of you who follow this channel, uh, you would be aware that Michael Sputh, um, as the owner of Big Blue Diving, had been in a de facto relationship with a Japanese diving instructor by the, by the name of Yoshi Sazawa, also known as Charlene. And I had posted a number of videos starting back on the 12th of November this year about her suspicious death and the fact that she had been found uh, in the jungle after having vanished for something like a week. Now, that was on the 12th of November and then on the 16th of November, a major general of Thai police started issuing press releases, uh, which gener generated some publicity in a number of Thai language newspapers, including uh, Matichon, Kom Chao Luk, and Post Today, and also generated some publicity in the Bangkok Post and another uh, English language uh, news service called Tiger, T-H-A-I-G-E-R. And in those press releases, the Major General made a number of false statements uh, about this channel and about my Facebook page, but he also made some extraordinary statements to the effect that Charlene had been found in her, in her home, whereas every source that I have had contact with has said that she, her body was found in the jungle. So her death already looked very suspicious and I pointed out that Charlene had actually been in dispute with a number of people, including her, uh, including her estranged uh, spouse who is Michael Sputh, the fellow who's just passed away. And uh, so I'd uh, pointed out that uh, her death was suspicious, but then it became even more suspicious when the Major General started issuing statements to the effect that she was actually found in her home, whereas everyone else said that she was found in the jungle. Now, I wasn't there, so I don't know uh, where she was found, but if I've got uh, the choice between you know, three or four sources who say that she was found in the jungle after many days or even a week of searching, and a police major general, who said, a Thai police major general, who uh, says that she was found in her home and actually even left uh, something akin to a suicide note, I would believe my other sources over the, the Thai police major general every time. Although, as I said, I wasn't there myself. So we had a very suspicious death with Yoshi Sazawa, and now we uh, have the death of her uh, former de facto spouse, Michael Sputh, and it may well simply be a motorcycle accident or there might be something more insidious, but I, at the moment I just don't know. But I'm just bringing this uh, breaking news to your attention now. And of course, with any business on Kotao, it is not just the foreigners who might nominally own the business. There is always a Thai business partner behind the business as well. But it seems extraordinary that uh, only five or six weeks after revelations about Charlene's death were being made public because they were essentially covered up uh, back in 2004 when she died. Once they started to become public and the Major General started publishing uh, denials about uh, some of the statements that have been made on this channel and on my Facebook page, you know, five or six weeks later uh, Michael suddenly dies. There's a bit of a coincidence, and it might just be a coincidence, coincidence, or there might be something more insidious. Anyway, look, I wish you all the best for the new year, and uh, please stay safe. Bye for now.